everybody, it's Susan, and today is Tuesday. Is it? No, wait. It's Wednesday. I now, my top 10 favorite kills. I do have to use a cheat sheet because my memory doesn't serve me well. And let's all keep in perspective, this is my top 10 kills based upon my personal likes. I know all of you have different opinions and I love that and I want to hear them. Comment below and let me know some of your favorites. Well, at number 10, Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter. <laughs> One of my favorites. Also, obviously, Crispin Glover. Well, both of those to me were great kills. I also actually have a very close friend who did special effects on that film, so it's near and dear to my heart. Any kill in that movie is going to make my list. At number nine. <laughs> Michael killed Lori. I personally did not want that to happen, but after hearing what Jamie Lee Curtis said, given the circumstances, I thought that was brilliant. That was very unexpected and shocking, and I love that she reaches up and kisses him before she falls. At number eight for me is Freddy versus Jason. Jason folds the guy in half backwards in a bed. <laughs> Don't think for one minute that someone, somewhere, has not thought about doing that. At number seven, from the original 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween, we all know it's my favorite, I'm gonna play favorites here, I can't help it, is The Killing of Bob. Michael kills Bob, to me, that really kind of showed just what John Carpenter took from Alfred Hitchcock about less is more. So, of course, the famous Michael head tilt, it, it was a moment. Yes, I still have my cake At number six. be excited about Freddy Krueger's claw. Oh wait, I've got one right here. What do you know? <laughs> can you see that? Okay. Uh, who cannot be excited about Freddy Krueger's claw pulling someone down into the bed and a river of blood splashing out of it, sucking it back in? I mean, come on. At number five.
Michael. loved the end of Halloween H2O. If that franchise truly had to quote unquote end, that would be my ending. At number four, A lot of people will say, why is this, why do you think this is one of your favorite kills? Uh, there's not a lot of, you know, practical effects. There's not a lot of blood. And this one, to me, illustrates the classic movie monster that was created. He did not ask to be created, and he was trying to assimilate and understand. It's with no malicious intent. He's playing with the girl, so he's mirroring her. He runs out of flowers. Oh, you're laughing, we're throwing things in? I'll throw you in. He doesn't realize, and then that terrible moment where he realizes she's not coming back. It's really, really, to me, it was very heart-wrenching. Frankenstein is one of my all-time favorite movies, period, horror genre or not. It really sticks with you. At number three,
Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, Jennifer's Death. Welcome to prime time, bitch. Very creative kill, number one. Number two, the fact that Robert Englund thought of that tagline, did it, and it is one of the most memorable and recognizable taglines for a kill in a horror movie, period. At number two. If you do not know of or appreciate Alfred Hitchcock and the amazing talent that he was with his films, please go and check them out. Alfred Hitchcock also was an inspiration for John Carpenter, who is another one of my favorite directors, so you can kind of see some of those traits come through in his films as well. It's not that it's extremely graphic. There's not a lot of blood. There's not a lot of crazy effects. Uh, there's not gore. It's kind of the negative space, what's not there, is almost more frightening. Everyone knows it, and there's a good reason for it. And at number one... Michael! From 1978, John Carpenter's original Halloween, Michael killing his sister. The reason I picked this for my favorite kill is because seeing the kill through Michael's point of view behind his mask is genius. It elicits a different response from the viewer. That is why that is my number one favorite horror movie kill. There's my list. Have at it. Let me know. Do you hate it? Do you love it? I want to know. What are your favorite kills? I know, I don't have any Texas Chainsaw Massacre in here. I don't have extra- Please, 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 please. Let me know down in the comments below, what are your top 10 favorite horror movie kills? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.